Solving the problem of the drying up of the Panama Canal requires at least $2 billion and six years of time. However, there are already a critical number of shipping delays in the canal. According to Bloomberg, the main solution to the problem in the future will be to block the Indio River and then build a tunnel through the mountain to supply fresh water to Gaten Lake, which is the canal's main reservoir. The project, along with other measures to preserve navigation, will cost an additional $2 billion and will take at least six years to implement. Currently, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is conducting a feasibility study of the project. The creation of a reservoir on the Indio River will increase the canal's capacity by 11 to 15 vessels per day, while providing fresh water for Panama City. However, the proposal could be difficult to implement because it would require congressional approval and would result in the flooding of thousands of farmlands. Some farmers and landowners are already organizing to oppose it. There are also other experimental solutions, but they are less well-known and do not guarantee success. For example, in November, where the modification incorporated tested a method of cloud seeding, which consists of scattering large particles of salt in clouds to increase condensation and promote rain. However, this method is more successfully used in dry climates, and not in tropical countries like Panama. The Panama Canal currently handles about 3% of the world's maritime trade and 46% of the containers between Northeast Asia and the U.S. East Coast. The canal is a major source of income for Panama, bringing in $4.3 billion in 2022.